G'day, my name is Daniel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be going over the beta version for the UDM firmware 1.9.0-10 and network controller 6.1.52. Now, it's very important to remember that this is a beta version, not an official version. Uh, however, I'm going to be going over why you should not upgrade to it, what I actually like about it, and take it from there. Now, 92% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to this channel. So if you like this video, don't forget to press that subscribe button, press the thumbs up, and we'll get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to notice is that the homepage has had a little bit of a layout change. A layout change that I actually kind of like. Uh, so straight up, you can actually see the name of the UDM, the current WAN IP of the UDM, as well as the gateway IP, and your most active clients followed by your most active apps now the seeing this as soon as you first come to the dashboard i kind of like this it's actually quite nice it's, it's neat it's easy to read um you basically get everything right there without any issues whatsoever now as we move on to the next tab which is the the topology map it's got a massive overhaul but I'm not quite sure that I like it just yet. I don't mind this layout. So as we scroll in, we can see the UDM to the PC to the Switch, which is okay. Uh, followed by which devices are actually connected to that Switch. For example, our security camera Switch here. And which cameras are actually plugged into our security camera Switch. I think as we zoom in and zoom out, this map actually looks quite nice. It's easy to read. However, I feel like if that was kind of vertical instead of horizontal, it would be much better to read. Now, I have heard of people that have had this map completely and utterly broken and unlinked, kind of like this Flex Mini, but with every other device. Uh, so, obviously, again, that this is actually in beta. I kind of like the way that they're actually progressing with this, but there does need to be some additional changes, and maybe it does need to be vertical. Um, being allowed to zoom in and kind of see, you know, straight up to our security camera switch and see it's all the same stuff. It looks a lot neater than the old map, but something's just not right about it, and it does need some changes. Now, as for the devices page, this has had a little bit of a makeover as well. I actually don't mind the style of this device, uh, this page either. Uh, you've got the firmware version here, which all shows you up to date. So when there is actually an update available, it will actually come up here that is up to date, or sorry, update available. And then as you press update now, on the left-hand side next to the actual device name, it will tell you what the current process is doing. For example, write in please rate or you know preparing to set up um, i feel like that part should actually be moved to where it's updating now uh it shouldn't really be right next to the device in my opinion but look this layout it's kind of nice it's kind of simple as well um nothing's really majorly changed on this page but it looks quite nice in my opinion as well now as for the new client page I'm still not a fan of the brand new client page, and there's still very many bugs with this. For example, the download speed, 64.9 gigabits per second for my G Pro, G4 Pro camera. Obviously, my G4 Pro isn't actually ha doesn't actually have a download speed of 64.9 gigabits per second right now. Um, and that's obviously just completely and utterly wrong. Now, bear in mind that this is actually a beta, so obviously, it is going to be buggy, and they will obviously iron out these bugs before the official release. However, there's certain reasons why I don't like the new client page. Like, for example, the G4 Pro. How I'd like to be able to easily tell where that is plugged into. Now, there is a filter where you can actually filter the device that it's connected to. For example, we can come into here and go the security camera switch and that will show us exactly what's plugged into that but i want to be able to see that by clicking on the client page i want to be able to go overall you know come straight to the client page and see all of this but also see what device they're connected to i, I just like the old version of the client page a lot more now moving on to the, stat, the stats page 
this has again it's mostly ui changes um the stats page has always been a little bit iffy to me and never seems to be 100 percent accurate um however with the overview of the design it does again it looks quite simple um easy to read i, I don't mind this it looks good uh you can obviously change things by download traffic and upload traffic so again that's another good thing as normal um nothing major on this stats page i have heard for some people that this is not actually working for them um but look for me it's working perfectly fine on the beta version now coming on to the insights page now the insight page appears to be missing a lot of information and again i'm not sure if this is just a bug from unify at the moment but it only has wi-fi scanner and wi-fi mint I would use the insights to find, you know, is there a potential access point that's interfering with my network? Or when was a device last seen on my network? Or, you know, how many access points are there near me that's interfering? That seems to be completely missing. There's Wi-Fi scanner, which does scan for devices close by, but I can't see the last time a client was seen. Uh, the Wi-Fi Man app is awesome, I will admit that. So if you download the Wi-Fi Man app on your Android or iPhone device and run a scan from the Wi-Fi Man app, that will actually come up here with the test results, um, which is quite cool. So, the, you know, the download speed, the upload speed, uh, the current rate that is connected to the wireless, it's nice. So the Wi-Fi Man integration is awesome, but we need our previous insights back. I don't want just Wi-Fi scanner. Now, again, this is a beta version, so I don't know if this is just a bug or wh whether this is what they're looking to implement, but this is just a no-no. I can't use this. Moving on to the alerts page. It's gone. In short, it's gone. Now, again, this is beta so you know there will be changes before the official release but it looks like unify is has removed a lot of features with this beta version and without any form of consulting to its consumers i don't understand why they've done this the alerts and the events page is what I'm actually looking for. So it appears that the events page is completely and utterly missing. And the events page was bloody awesome for troubleshooting. You know, you would see, as an example, Apple iPhone has actually connected to the network on this Wi-Fi access point on this channel. But you can't see that anymore. So that, that that's an example of the events page. You know, you, when a client would connect, what access point they connected to, what channel they connected to, when they disconnected. When it went, swapped over to the failover win, as an example. Uh, or when the failover win swapped back over to the main win. And it seems to be that non-stop, a client has disconnected from the network, a client has connected to the network, a client has disconnected, or sometimes you don't even get the connected to the network option. For example, you'll see this iPhone here. A client had disconnected from the network. A client had disconnected from the network. Where to reconnection events. Now, these are the kind of things that I'm talking about. So look, switching to the new beta, if you are contemplating doing it, don't. Don't. Look, we use this system in a test environment. So to me, it's not a big concern. I will test every single beta that comes out. And if I have to reset my whole network again afterwards, I always will. Ultimately, in the end. I like the way that you, you, Ubiquity is heading with the design look of the dashboard. But they have removed a lot of features in this version. And I mean a lot of features. It appears that they're going a little bit backwards. Now, bear in mind that this is, again, just the beta version of the controller. However, this beta version just isn't it. And I'm hoping they don't continue down this path. Okay. So as I mentioned, this beta version just isn't it. I'm hoping that Ubiquity go back and... And I'm sure that they will. Don't get me wrong. Again, this is just a beta version. 
but I'm hoping you ubiquity do go back and add all the missing features that they're adding. Uh, they also mentioned in a previous post that multiple WAN RP was coming in version 1.9.0 and it is there, but your connection must be a static IP or a PPPRE and it cannot be DHCP. Uh, it also just, it just doesn't do one-to-one -one NAT. So there seems to be a lot of features actually missing in this beta version. Ultimately in the end, as much as I said I like the design changes that they're slowly bringing in, the design changes are nice. I don't want these changes. I like them, yes. But they need to keep working on the features that they're bringing to the UDM. Multiple WAN IP addresses on a one-to-one -one NAT, as an example, needs to be a feature of the UDM. Even the basic routers can do this. They need to bring these features in and not remove features. Again, this is just a beta version. So, you know, maybe they're just testing the waters with their beta testers. But this beta version is just not it. I like the changes, and there was meant to be a lot of bug fixes in this version. But with those lots and lots of bug fixes, comes lots and lots of more bugs. And many 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 features removed so again this is just a very short video of the udm firmware 1.9.0 if you were contemplating on changing to the beta to test it yourself i would suggest to leave this beta for now and wait for the next version and hopefully they bring all of the great features back the new version does make it very hard to troubleshoot things and it's just not the way that we're it's just not where it's gonna go all right peace out i'll see you in the next video